Welcome to Gray Bear's Garage. Got a little something special. It's almost my birthday, and this is what I got for my birthday present. A little something I can legally ride on the road. Although I ain't got everything done that I want to do. They told me where this is 49 cc's that uh, I can ride it just like you know a moped. Don't need no license, or they even said no insurance. But I am going to insure it, and I'm going to try to get a tag for it too. Should be able to get a moped tag for it. But anyways, it's a Kimco Agility 50. I don't know if you can see that well. But uh, I like it because it's got the flip up seat, and I just rode it. For the first time, I just took it down there a couple blocks and back. And uh, to be a little 49cc, it, it, uh, it did okay. I didn't expect it to be a powerhouse anyway, but it went up the hill just fine. I got a little hill there you got to go up. And uh, not this on my uh, chesty. Knock off Chesty. There we go. And hopefully it still gives you a good angle while I'm riding this. But yeah, she uh she's a nice smooth little GY6 engine. And if I can't get this 50 to give me enough juice, uh I can always switch out a 150 because the motor itself's the same size. But anywho, <coughs> got me a bit of a <coughs> cold. Came with two keys. It didn't come with the little lockable trunk, but you can get one of them pretty, pretty affordably. Anywho, uh. <laughs> guess I could let you hear the. Uh, the exhaust. He said this exhaust should uh, flow fairly freely, but I'm not thinking so. I'm thinking that I will eventually get a, uh, I don't know what this thing is, but yeah, here's where you check your earl and fill it. It's got a mechanic stand and a regular kickstand, and this can flip back for a rear rider, but with uh, 49 cc's, I don't plan on ride nobody on this thing oh this thing's got about the the feel of the uh almost the feel of the uh big mini bike big, big mini bike still a little bit faster but we're going up a hill and this thing just Taking it right on up. We're at 20. 25. The small numbers is what you look at on the speedometer. We're doing 30. This thing cruises. I almost bought a uh, Chinese scooter. And I said, well, I'll go to the Kimco dealer down the road and see what they got going on. And uh, they hooked me up. <laughs> yeah, the retail on this was supposed to be $17.99. This is actually a, a 2019. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, somebody had bought this and they didn't put 24 miles on it right now and I put a couple of those miles on there myself. Not only that, some of those miles also were uh, them uh, cleaning out the car for me because it had, had gas ran through it and set. And uh, they... Uh, Course cleaned it out, put a carb kit in it, and uh, 
Probably ran it a little bit there too. I forgot about this alleyway. I guess you could ride this all the way to my house. Just about, not all of it. This thing, uh, it ain't no speed demon, but it'll get you there. Here's that good hill. This thing don't take no time to get up to 20. Doing almost 30 now. 30. I think this thing might actually be faster than the big mini. I done passed my house up, didn't even know it. Fairly agile. It does decent, I think. Not used to <laughs> using turn signals, but I can use them now because I got them. Already doing close to 30 already. Hopefully the wind noise ain't too bad. This is the first time I use this uh, seven on a ch uh, chesty, but it should be better than the five if anything. I was hitting almost 35 just then. Need to, uh... yeah, I don't like these mirrors. They don't go out far enough. It's a bit cold. Only thing cold is my hands though. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'd say it's, it does decent the way it is. Look, look, look. That was a little rough. Of course, this road's wore out. But this is a four stroker. I just can't handle a two-stroke. I know that they can wind out and go fast and all, but sounds like a chainsaw to me. <laughs> this one about does with this muffler. I plan to upgrade that in the future. But yeah, now I can pull out of my driveway and ride. I gotta tuck my elbows in to be able to see with this thing. This thing will cruise 30 easy. I haven't really tried to do a top speed on it. There's 30 right there. Oh. A silver ride dog. Yeah, it was hitting 35 just then until I had let off. Try to be cautious around cars until I get it insured and tagged and everything. Yeah, this thing gets on pretty good. Twenty-five. You can definitely hear the turn signal. And I'm still a little rusty on this thing. Yeah, I got a. 200 miles it's got break-in oil on it and it said 200 miles change your earl but uh you can turn it off by the key or the kill switch but yeah 
on and off stuff like that that I just did, like two little rides, slowing down, speeding up. That's what they want you to do when you're breaking in the motor anyway. And uh, it's supposed to like uh, toughen the steel or metal that it's made of and seat everything in. But yeah, I'm a liking it. I'm trying to remember where I put my clicker. I think I put it in this pocket. Yep. There it is. Open sesame. Yeah, it's a little bit chill. But yeah, I see myself making plenty of videos on this little doozy. Oh. Hey. Yeah, she got a mechanic stand too. Yeah, I don't know what about think about them uh, orange wheels, but uh, they're not ugly. I just and I didn't want black, but I got a deal on this thing. Like I said, I was saying the uh, retail is supposed to be seventeen ninety nine. It's a, actually a twenty nineteen, but like I say, it is still a new scooter. If you look at it, it only has twenty seven on it, and I don't know if that's actually. It has kilometers per hour is the main thing on here. So I'm wondering if that's actually ticking in kilometers. So it may only have about 20 miles on it. Because it may be registering those that ticker in uh, kilometers. But yeah, I plan to, uh, I want to get a little windscreen for it. And uh, I guess on the same thing, everything's going to have to be mounted with these mirrors. I, I, I found one that mounts underneath these mirrors. And uh, I plan on upgrading the mirrors, of course. I think that's probably one of the first upgrades I'm gonna do. And uh, anyways, yeah, uh, I'm gonna get, uh, I gotta get me some kind of mount that I can mount my phone on there. That way I can put the GPS on there with the speed and uh, you can uh, see actual miles per hour and see how accurate Sometimes these speedometers are off. I don't know about Kimco, but like in Chinese scooters, you can get one on 150s and it'll tell you you're doing 50 mile an hour and you can pull your GPS up on your phone and it's telling you you're doing 35 when it's telling you you're doing 50. And I mean, I'm not talking about kilometers. I mean, it'll tell you like right here. If you look at this, down in here, it goes up to 80 in kilometers, but it goes up to 50 in miles per hour. Them small numbers is what I was talking about is what you go by is the miles per hour. And uh, it'll tell you you're doing 50 on them Chinese scooters. And uh, like I say, GPS tells you 35. This and these are made in Taiwan. And from what I understand, Kimco is supposed to build motors and sometimes complete bikes for like Kawasaki and BMW and the, uh, the guy at the dealer was saying even Honda, but I'm not sure. But a lot of your Honda bikes, like your, I'm cracking myself in the head with this emergency pull down. Uh, yeah, uh, your Monkey, your Hunter Cubs, all your new bikes, retro bikes coming out, the, the Super Cub, the Hunter Cub, the Monkey, and the uh, Grom are all made where these are made in Taiwan. But uh, you can still have the quality like Honda does. And, uh, but they're still made in yeah, Taiwan. Yeah, they're still better than the, the Chinese scooters. The, uh, the plastics are thicker. It's still kind of hard plastic. It's not like a, Honda still has better plastics, but, uh, but this is still a better bike than uh, those Chinese bikes. That, that's one reason why I went up to the Kimco dealer and figured I'd check it out on there. And I might get me, I might actually get me some bar in mirrors. So I think these just pop out right here. Cause I need something to go, I want it to go further out. I don't mind these mirrors that come up like this, but uh, I need it to come further out. Cause I got kind of broad shoulders. But yeah, I figured, oh, sorry about that. I'm undoing this off my chest again. 
but uh figured I'd let my followers see which way I'm heading right now. I still plan on putting the torque converter on the big one, on the big mini, but uh I wanted something that I could uh take out on the road and uh <clears throat> not worry about uh getting caught right and dirty. Like I say, they said uh Planet Power Sports. They said that uh the way they understood it, under 49 cc's, you don't really even need to have a tag, but he could get me a tag. Because there's two ways you can register. You can register register as a 50 cc, because that's the class that this is in. It says 50, but technically it's a 49. And I went the 49 way, but I still want to get a tag for it and insure it because if you do get in an accident, you do you'll want to have insurance because you can run into some trouble then. And you can get caught riding dirty. But uh I hope you liked the video. And if you did, subscribe and share the crap out of it.